With your Syracuse Summer Nights preview for the game against the Milwaukee Wave, I'm Michael Horn. In the last week, both teams lost to the Norfolk Sharks. The Silver Knights did it a week ago. On Valentine's Day, it was a heartbreaking loss, 21 to 17. Now the Wave have also lost to the Baltimore Blast, and that's actually the third game of a three-game losing streak. They're just one win away from clinching the Central Division, so they'll be coming in with that as motive to win the game against the Silver Knights. The Silver Knights will be led by Week 15 Player of the Week, goalkeeper Brian O'Quinn, who had 87 of 118 saves in the last three games. The Silver Knights also have 10 different players who have scored in the last three games, and Corey Alenio and Nelson Santana have both had hat tricks. Both the Silver Knights and the Rochester Lancers are still battling it out for that second playoff berth in the Eastern Division. Rochester had a win against Wichita on Saturday, but a loss against Missouri on Sunday, which leaves them only one half game in the lead for that playoff berth. The Silver Knights, though, they have a game in hand. They have played three more games. Rochester only has two games remaining on the schedule. If you want a team to root for other than the Silver Knights, it's the Wichita Wings. They play Rochester in both of those remaining games. Come on out to the On Center and cheer on your Syracuse Silver Knights to a playoff berth. The game against the Milwaukee Wave is at 7.30 p.m. on Wednesday the 22nd. After that, Saturday the 25th is the next home game. That's against the Wichita Wings. And finally, the Silver Knights close out the season against the Baltimore Blast Sunday, March 4th at 4 p.m. With your Syracuse Silver Knights preview, I'm Michael Horn.